that briefly was the Burnside Skate Park. A student asked me about the park. I wanted to say a little bit about it, but not just about the park. Oh, I mean park because I didn't want to sit there and film them. I might have been rude. I also want to talk about this while we're passing by the yard. I want to talk about these trucks over here, the trucks we saw from the Pacific Fruit Company. Because there's a story here. A story I have to get through quickly because I do have a bus to catch. Burnside Skate Park was built in 1990 by a couple of skating enthusiasts. And at the time, Portland was pretty depressed in 1990. The tech industry hadn't happened yet. This area was just warehouses uh, for distribution down along the river. And uh, it was one of the first things that started New Portland, the Portland of the 90s. And uh, look at what we have here. Look at all these condos. So the irony is, is that Portland became this extravagant tech center, um, became a place full of, you know, fancy restaurants um, and a lot of uh, hospitality and entertainment. And that started because one day in 1990, I think it was on Halloween day, that's what I read, a couple of skating enthusiasts got a couple of bags of concrete and started making that skate park on their own. Uh, and it's still not an official Portland skate park or park of any sort. It is just kind of there. And that area has led to this, where there's expensive condos. And they still coexist. And in fact, the pre-1990, the warehouse district also exists there. And it's also interesting because the Burnside Skate Park is underneath the Burnside Bridge and by the Willamette River. That's what separates Portland into quadrants. And so it really is in the center of Portland and it's at the pivot of Portland between Old Portland and New Portland, East and West, North and South. So, you know, you take one thing like that one little activity and what Portland is today owes all of this success, all of this money, and I guess all of its problems to people in the 90s who were hobbyists and doing things for fun and building their communities. And, uh, you know, I wish I could talk more about the skate park from that angle of like skating and stuff. I'm not an expert on that, but I am an expert on this neighborhood. I worked here at, near here at Free Geek, which is also a group of, you know, friends wanted to do something for the community and formed a cultural legacy. But when you look at all this shiny, shiny glass, remember where it started from. And I'm not complaining about it because, you know, people are living here, people are doing things here. But I want to give credit where credit is due. And after I do that, I'm crossing the Burnside Bridge because I have a bus to catch.